launching the scoreboard app just 24 hours ago. And already more than $300,000 have been made in deposits. Lisa Balick has a look at some of these new details. She's live tonight from Kaiser. Lisa. What can we do in order to a, you know, get more players and uh, generate more funds for the state? So, ta da! Scoreboard launched into action about 24 hours ago. Already, there are more than 5,000 registered users loading their betting accounts with a credit or debit card. $300,000 in deposits at this hour. Some people have had trouble getting into the system, as the state has tight controls, making sure through documentation you're over 21, and electronically, make sure you are actually in the state when betting. The sports betting is designed to appeal to a certain crowd. We're always trying to develop some type of game that will attract a newer, perhaps younger uh, player. Scoreboard makes Oregon the eighth state with a live sports betting app. Everything from football and basketball games to pool and motorsports racing competition is offered for betters, but no college games, at least for now. In order to have college sports, we would want to have uh, the number of stakeholders as large. You know, there's the governor, there's the legislature, um, there's the university systems themselves. So we would want to have a, a concrete idea of their concerns and be able to address that. The state estimates pulling in about $30 million a year from sports betting. Gambling addiction counselors are concerned about the ease of being able to place a bet anytime on your cell phone. The site does allow a better to keep track of how much they've wagered and to set their own personal limits that warn them if they're getting close to that. But there's nothing to automatically stop their wagering. Minimum bet, $5. Maximum, a quarter of a million dollars. Now, I just checked, and tonight's Denver Broncos Kansas City Chiefs game is the most popular bet that's going on today. Also, one other thing I noticed that there have been 20 bets so far that the Trailblazers will win the title this year. Live in Kaiser, Lisa Balick, Coin Six News.